Hello, my name is Kirsten Matsuda. I am part of the team Startup FIU Entrepreneurs. The product owner is Robert Hacker and the project mentor is Dr. Masood Sajadi. You can find my contact information in the bottom right corner. This is user story number 102, Change Cohort Curriculum Data, that was assigned to me in Sprint 6. During this video, we will go over the following user story document. We have the acceptance criteria. We will go over the use case diagram, the sequence diagram, class diagram, and then go through the different testing, which was done through Selenium in Chrome. Then we will go over a demo of this user story. The PI CoPI user can edit the curriculum data through a pop-up modal. In this class diagram, you can see the model view and controller. You can also see the collection in the database. Here is the sequence diagram where you can see something being saved to the database. This user story passed all of its testing. The ENTP team does all of its testing in Selenium for Chrome. I'm logged in here as a PI CoPI user, and I'm just going to click on a random week and we're going to edit the data inside. So let's go week three. And let's change some of the text in here. So let's click on the edit icon and change size the market to size up your competition. Edited by me. And let's click submit. Success. So let's take a look. Week three, and there it is. Size up your competition. We could have edited anything that you see here, but I just chose to do some simple text. Iframe codes work as well. And if you go into session slides, you can modify all of those through the exact same way. Here in EATP curriculum folder, we can see the old service. You can see when, what the documents look like that are now in our curriculum collection in the database and now you see our new service. This is the edit icon in our view. And then here you can see our edited controller. Some other files that should be noted are um, our curriculum.js to specify the schema, curriculum roots.js, and you can see where I added our collection um, in this Mongo dump on 11.19. And of course, the CSS is still found in ENTP curriculum.css in the CSS folder. Thank you for watching and please contact this project's mentor if you have any questions. Also, my contact information is there if you have any questions for me.